What's up guys, 7 up 7 here, welcome back to Dragon Quest 8. We are, let's play Dragon Quest 8, I should say. Uh, we are here where we left off in the last video. Just gotten into Orkutsk. Uh, so, we're gonna start exploring, basically. I think it's nighttime, maybe. And we don't want it to be, so maybe let's go to the inn first. I don't know, we'll see. Um, so one thing I'll mention before we really get started here, I'm not gonna like, read off everything that everyone says, but um, I know that I don't do a whole lot of talking to random people that aren't related to the story here uh, throughout most of this game, however, it's kind of strange, the guy Marek that uh, Marta asked us to deliver the bag to, he is also part of the story, like we have to find him. So every little person that we see, we're gonna want to talk to. Um, because for some reason, that seems to be the only way to get him to, oh, I thought he would move, I guess not, I don't remember how he moves. Um, I guess that's the only way to get him to show up, because right now he's not going to be in the town, and we won't be able to talk to him, so we're going to want to do that in order for him to show up. Um, I'm really just looking for the armor shop at the moment. I don't think that these guys count towards that, um when we can get behind the counter we're gonna want to talk to them but not as actual uh, shopkeepers I don't think that that is something that matters so okay here we go uh yeah armor guy let's talk to you and I'm not sure if we're gonna have enough money no we will not I want this iron headgear um, none, none of the other stuff really matters. We don't need any of this stuff. Um, Angelo has something better than the Velvet Cape already. Got stuff better than Dragon Mail. Um, the Dragon Shield we're not going to worry about just yet, because we can get one uh, for free pretty soon. And then this one is is whatever. Um, it's It's really just not very great for the money so uh we do want to get this though because it's not that expensive so let's see oh i'm not trying to buy it stupid i want to sell um yeah let's see if we can sell some stuff i know what happened to our did i put it in the bag that dagger Who has the dagger? Do we have two of those? We do have two assassin's daggers, actually. Uh... Somewhere. There's one. Alright, so that'll sell for $12.50. That'll help us a little bit. Um... Jeez, we're really scraping by on the money. I don't remember this being as much of a problem before. Uh, I feel like we can sell that, but I can't remember. I feel like it has a purpose. I'd have to look further in my notes. Okay, so we have three gold monster coins. That's very, very helpful. As well as there's a few coppers here. So that'll be enough to get us by for now. But I'm telling you, we're really scraping by on this money thing. Uh, so we're going to have to solve that pretty soon um so yeah let's go ahead and buy an iron headgear and we're gonna just put that in the bag right now we're not actually equipping this um we're gonna mix it with something also real quick um i have in my notes here a couple of things we can sell uh, we're not gonna need this other assassin's dagger, I don't think, so I'm gonna go ahead and sell that. Well, you know what, I'm actually... <sighs> My notes are a little unclear on this, so 
I'm going to hold on to that. But we can sell... Where is it? We can sell the Dancer's Mail. There's absolutely nothing that we're going to need that for. If you want to keep it, that's fine. But we really just don't need it, and I need the cash right now. So I'd rather have a little bit of money. Um, I don't think there's a ton of stuff we're going to need to buy. But uh, we will need that money, so... Uh, yeah, so we'll have to wait on our mixes uh, before we can throw that iron headgear in there. But that's alright, we can do that. I just realized that I walked around this entire place looking for that uh, when it's just past the church. I cannot remember the layout of this place at all. Uh, but oh well. So let's head back towards the bar and start racking up some items. Ooh! Forgot. Wait, is this... This is one we can access the alchemy pot in. I completely forgot about that. Alright, so we've made a sage robe. And we're just gonna hold on to that for now. We're gonna mix it into something else a little bit later, but not quite yet. Um, but first, so there's one thing that I meant to make before that for some reason I did not, even though it was on my list, if I can find the stuff for it. So we're going to throw this recovery ring in there, along with one of these gold bracers. And we're going to make another very special item. And I'm not sure why I missed over that one before, but other than that, we're doing just fine on the items that we want, so no big deal there. Alright, so let's head back down towards the bar here. Mm, where are they? Ah. Get those head in here. No, that's not where we want to go. We don't want to go outside yet. My bad. And I'm going to go ahead and talk to everyone in here just so we uh, keep up with that. I'm really just not even going to show all of these if you guys are playing along. They do say some semi-interesting stuff. Uh, some of them even mention Marek. Uh, and of course we're asking about the dogs and stuff too, so... Uh, but, so it's just, it's not worth reading. It's not vital to the story or anything, so we're not going to worry about it. Alright, and there's Mini Metal number 67. And I'm just going to go quickly over here and make sure... No, we did talk to that guy. Okay. So that should be everyone we need to talk to uh, for the most part. So now we actually can go out this door, which I tried to do a little bit early, and uh, head outside. And so this is like a huge house here in the middle of town. We got some little ice physics going on here. <laughs> we can run through there though. And we're just gonna go right up in here. This gigantic house. All right, got some pots over here. Break that one, get number 68. And then head on up here and open this dresser. Chili cheese! Not the good kind of chili cheese, like like it's it's cold cheese, not like a chili cheese dog. Or chili cheese fries, that sounds really good right now. I think I would like to do that, or eat some of that right now. Alright, so now we're gonna head downstairs to the basement area. I guess it's not really a basement, it's not underground. And get a seed of defense there. I need to catch up on our seeds. Um, haven't been having any trouble with fighting, so I haven't really worried about it. But we definitely do want to do that and get some 
uh, optimum uh, stat increases. Alright, so let's enter this one. Oh, I'm forgetting to talk to people, so hold on. I'm actually going to go back upstairs. <laughs> I need to talk to everyone. Alright, asking about Marek. Still asking about Marek. But no sign of him. So let's move on. Let's talk to her. And let's get back to this fellow's little room here. I guess this is like a giant apartment building kind of deal. Oh. So you know about it, you just haven't seen it. Interesting. Alright, and once again, another mini metal. We're really racking those up, and in fact, uh, as of the last one, we have enough to get our next upgrade, but we're not going to quite worry about it. I actually meant to go here. You look like a thief. Okay, well, out of my way. Get a rock bomb shard. We can still be making uh, those magma staves. So we'll we'll make another one of those. All right, and then we'll go this way. Alright, so now we're actually going to be up underneath the item shop where we were, uh, or where we could see those stairs back there. So this is their little living quarters. It's a really cool little setup they have here, actually. So now we can actually talk to this guy. At the herb garden, huh? Alright. So now we can do the only shopping we need to do. Get this free Chimera Wing. I think that's the only item here. I'm just going to make sure. Oh, no. Ruby of Protection. That's right. Okay. Uh, that's kind of important. So now we can move on from here. And head the other way at the fork here. Who are you? Oh... Uh, so that's where Marek lives, right back there. All right. All right, so it appears he's still not here. We'll have to do a little more talking and searching before we can find him, but he has a couple items that we can steal from him. Nothing in the bags there. Alright, and then now we're gonna head this other way. Go to this door. And this is gonna lead us right beneath the weapon and armor shop. Uh, looks like homeboy's passed out here. But we're gonna grab yet another mini metal. And then go see what he's got going on up here. A chest. Very nice. An edged boomerang. That's not really something we need. Um, we can actually sell that. There's no reason to keep it. So yeah, as you can see, the guy downstairs, he's the weapon dealer, uh, but he's only available at night, and then vice versa uh, for the armor, so <laughs> kind of interesting. Alright, and so that should be all the items for us to find in this town. Um... So now we just have to kind of navigate our way back through this maze and uh, go right back up here. Okay, so basically um, we are done in Orkutsk. There's my, oh, whoops, wrong way. Got a little mixed up. Um, there's. 
Nothing else you can really do in the town unless you want to hit the weapons shop. Um, but frankly, nothing there is just quite worth it for me. Um, they have a swallow tail, which is the boomerang that we already have equipped for the hero. Um, and then they have several things that we're just gonna be able to get for free pretty soon anyway. Um, now if you're using weapons other than the boomerang, there's maybe some stuff you would want to do there, but honestly there's, there's nothing for me there. There's a new whip for Jessica, but we can get a free one pretty soon. Uh, and yeah, there's a new axe for Yangus, but we can also get that soon. And then there's a new sword if you're using swords, and we do use swords for boss battles sometimes. However, as you're about to see, we're going to get uh, a pretty cool sword as well. So we've brought her 70, and for having 68, we will get a miracle sword. Pretty cool. And we'll get even more cool stuff in just five more mini medals. So, um, essentially this Miracle Sword is is pretty cool. It, uh, it heals HP when you attack with it, and it has a pretty nice attack too. It's like a plus 80, I think. Uh, so it's, it's really, really good. And we're gonna go ahead and trade out the Steel Broadsword that we already have. Um, and go ahead and give this Miracle Sword to the hero. Um, and you know, we're not gonna, oh, damn it, I meant to not equip it. Um, yeah, we're just gonna hold on to it, you know, keep using the boomerang for our day-to-day -day fights, but that'll be a nice thing during boss battles for sure, um, as well as the hero spear, as always. So, yeah, other than that, we're, we're just gonna hold off on getting any new equipment right now, because, I mean, I'm telling you, there's so many times in this game where they offer you the chance to buy stuff and then you will immediately find it for free in a chest or something so it's just not quite worth it we're at a good enough level we don't need to upgrade everything that that quickly so i'm just gonna hold off on everything else um the worst thing i would say you could buy the king axe uh for yangus if you really want um but honestly it just I don't know. The Bandit Axe kind of sucks at this point, but it's not bad enough to warrant spending all the money. So if you have a ton of money, go for it. But uh, I'm broke right now, so I'm not buying it. Alright, so that's pretty much Orkuts. We've explored it. Um, for the most part, there's still more stuff to do, and there's more stuff we'll have to do outside of the town, but we've gotten all the items inside the town for right now, so... Um, we will come back, but we're going to go do some exploring uh, nearby outside of the city. So we'll do that in the next video, and I will see you guys then.